First, let's open the package file. The geom is the mesh and the RLE2 is the texture. Export the mesh and the DDS texture. Now, let's grab the OBJ. Open up 3DS Max and import the male body. Now hide the hide meshes of the head, upper and lower parts. Drag your mouse over the whole model and delete it. Now attach the parts together to make one whole model. Export the model as an OBJ. Now import the sim mesh shirt we saved earlier. Delete the arms and skin parts. Double check there is no skin pieces inside the shirt. Now drag the shirt to the model and size the shirt big, but not too big.
Now, export the shirt only as an OBJ and open Blender. Delete everything in the scene and import the male body BJ then import the newly sized shirt. Change object mode to sculpt mode, then select the grab tool. Change the strength to 100% and adjust the radius to your liking. Be sure to hit the X axis at the top right to sculpt both sides of the shirt. Now sculpt the shirt to fit the model correctly and please go slow and take your time. When you are satisfied, go back to object mode, click the model, and delete it. Then export the shirt only to an OBJ. Go back to 3DS Max, delete the old shirt, then import the newly sculpted shirt. Now, let's grab a GTA 5 shirt model similar to your shirt. Go to the Toby Space website to find a shirt similar to yours. Once you find a model, highlight and copy the middle part of the name. Next, open up Open IV. Hit edit mode, then yes, and paste the name in the search bar and press enter. Hit search and choose the first folder. Now, go into the folder and find the YDD that matches your model and export it. Now, grab the male skeleton from X64V and export it. Copy the name of the exported GTA 5 shirt and rename the skeleton file as the same name, adding a space and the word full.
Go back to Autodesk 3DS Max and import the GTA 5 shirt. Delete the medium and low mesh. Hide the model skin. Select the high mesh and attach it to your shirt. Delete the first ID and change the second ID to 1. Update the vertex color and illumination. Open Material Editor and place a clear material on the shirt. Next, add weight paints to the shirt. For each part, click to 3, or 4 times as you see fits. Now, test the rotation of the skeleton to check for clipping or imperfections. Now, let's add the texture to the shirt. If your texture does not appear like so, add a new material, delete the first material, then change the new material ID to the number 1. Now, add the material again.
Adjust the settings like so. Now, clone the high mesh to medium and low and adjust it under the Modify tab. Now, export the shirt only. It should be the only one checked. Open backup open IV and import the shirt. Next, add a YTD file and import the DDS texture. And that is all. These are the two files you will need to place in your game. Remember to change the file names if you are placing them in 5M. Thanks for watching.